19 competitors about to set out. The men's 10,000 meter points elimination race is on. Uh, first of all, they'll get a few laps just to loosen up, warm up, establish their rhythm. Nobody will do anything too silly early on. This is about endurance, about timing, and about attacking at exactly the right time. Swings there in third place, the defending World Games champion. Packed in behind Pachi Pula of Spain, and one of the uh, Chinese Taipei skaters. Prominent as well, I think that's Huang. So here they go. In fact, it's Son Yun Song that's leading the way at the moment. The man who picked up nine points in last year's World Championship, the same as Peter Michael of New Zealand. And Son finishing with the faster time. That's what earned him the medal. So Son continues to lead the way here. Korea, Spain, Belgium, the one, two, three at the moment. But they haven't even started getting down to business yet. These 19 skaters. Pretty much in a line at the moment. Energy being conserved for when things really matter. And if you can, around the two-third mark, make a break, drop most of the others. And look at this, there's a real big attack coming in here from the German, Reinen. Well, he's decided to just set his stall out here. So Reinen taking the first bell with a big, big lead. So the first two points Look like they're heading to Germany. Swings and Son look to be dueling at the front of the pack for the second point. And is it going to be the Belgian who takes it? He's looking good at the moment, but a glance behind him there. Well, this really is uh, throwing it down from Reinen and Swings saying, well, I'm not letting you get too far ahead of me because if you start picking up too many two-pointers early on, that's going to take an awful lot of dragging back. So Bart Swings deciding, you know what? You want to make a race of this? You're going to have a race. Swings hits the front, and some of these others have been just forced into action, jolted out of their complacency. And the gap starts to shrink. Elton D'Souza is up there as well with Ewan Fernandez of France. Well, they've joined the big group. Patsy Pula is in there as well, and now the Italian looks like he's making one his move, one of the two Italians. So it's all about swings at Reinen at the moment, but we're about to see an Italian point. Two points indeed, of course. Daniel Nero leading the way. Swins tucked in behind him will just garner another point. And now he will hit the front, and Swings and Nero will try and work together to just accumulate a couple more points here if they possibly can. These are cheap points because there's a gap opening up. And it's the two French skaters that have decided to do something about that. Elton D'Souza making his attack. And just settling for what he had there. Didn't go flat out, D'Souza. But he's exactly where he wants to be now. So Swings with the early lead. Son seems to have uh, disappeared. No sign of Peter N uh, Michael yet either. And significantly, Ken Kuwada, the Argentinian, is nowhere to be seen. He's towards the back of the field, the defending world champion. So Swings has picked up six cheap points, and it's going to take something for Kuwada to pull that back. Even at this early... Barely a third of the way through this 10,000 metres. 
the Belgian currently in third place there tucked in behind Euler Fernandez on the board for France as well and Elton D'Souza getting very very close to the action as well and now things pick up once again another attack spreads the field wide open and they've all got to watch each other where these attacks come as things can change so quickly in these points elimination races and just like that Bolaños Villa of Ecuador has joined the party now Fernandez tucked in just behind him swings has dropped down to fourth behind Piula and they will start fishing them off the back but look at these two now Bolanos Villa and Fernandez now seemingly able to capitalize as the group has been split asunder again and there's a third skater just trying to keep in touch there one of the two Italians I think is that Miero well, can these three work together to share the spoils and Swings has allowed himself to be detached he still leads but Fernandez the Frenchman is right on his tail and Boyan Bolanos Villa is also closing in. Fernandez now, after that latest two-point haul, takes the lead. Reinen, whose early burst produced three points, has dropped. Niero failing to add to his points. And now the rest of the group are managing to catch up and make a move as well as we approach midway. And they're seeing skaters get eliminated. That's one of the poles departing the scene uh, dramatic stuff here as we have more lead changes more skaters stepping up they'll all have their tactics they'll all know the strategy what they want to try and achieve and finally we're seeing some New Zealand interest in this one this has been a long time coming on one of the key medal contenders and it's a big group together There's the Ecuadorian making another push Milanos Villa and he picks up a point there Michael though adding two more so he's now lurking with intent swings just trying to make sure that this doesn't get too out of hand so he's now risen to the front and making his move as well Michael is tracking him he's timed this brilliantly Bart swings again the field has had to do a lot of work just to try and close the gap and look who's popped up into third place it's Cuada the Argentinian the reigning world champion but he needs to get on the board pretty quickly he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to get himself into the medal mix here swings and Fernandez each with seven points already Bolaños Villa and Michael with five and there's another back marker is eliminated now Kawada looking to try and attack and put himself on the board here he's tucked into second place so he looks like he's got a good chance of opening his account here yeah, he does just that now this is where swings and Fernandez need to keep very very close eyes on what's going on all around them Livio Wenger of Switzerland picking up a point there as well and it's all about the Argentinian now how much damage can he inflict and Cuada and Wenger sharing the last points here Cuada looks like he may just have to settle for the one point or is he going to have a another little go here as things start to get interesting it's Wenger that's coasting a little bit behind them and uh, Alejandro Paez the Mexican continues to lead the way here and as things get very interesting Cuada now with three points 
and in a group of three of the Mexican Pies and Livia Wenger what a surprise to see him in that group as well yeah they're all, they're all just discussing their tactics right your turn they've got to work together as a trio even though only two of them can pick up points because if they can just keep ahead of the rest of the field they'll be in terrific shape and the Argentinian who sat there and sat there and sat there now looks like he's in a terrific place I'm going to keep an eye on Pires as well who's picked up the last two two pointers at the 640 and the 680 mark so Pires definitely an active player here and Swings and Fernandez are finding that this is all getting a bit too close for comfort and there's another point goes to Kuwara there and Livio Wenger adding a couple more points to his tally so he's only just off the board as well but at the moment it looks very much as if Kuwara, Ken Kuwara has got this absolutely right still Pires leading the way Wenger tucked in just behind those two Look how close it is now. Still swings and Fernandez in the lead, but the Argentinian and Pays just behind him. And Wenger detached on three. He needs to just try and get to the head of this when the points are up for grabs if he wants to make any kind of move at all. And swings and Fernandez, it looks like they could be in the pack dueling for the bronze here. Remember, if they're level on points, it's going to be who's got the fastest finish time. Moment, you'd have to fancy Hayes and Ken, the Argentinian. And Hayes has really found a productive seam here. So here we are, getting very close to the finish here. And the Argentinian slipping off the pace. And Wenger picking up. Another couple of points, so that'll take him to five. And Pays now effectively in the lead. And there is confirmation. Look at Wenger moving up into sixth as well, uh, into equal fourth as well with six points. So Sphinx and Fernandez, both at the moment, look like they actually could be missing out on the medals altogether. If Wenger gets himself another point and stays in this lead group, the Swiss man at the back of this trio, then he'll be on the podium. Uh, in Kuwara, the Argentinian needs three points to overhaul the Mexican that's in front of him and take another one there and he's joined by Wenger going to give the Argentinian the two points there Wenger will settle for the one so at the moment Swings and Fernandez both out of this one as we approach one kilometer left now Pays of Mexico Ken of Argentina look to be battling this out between them it could come down to a sprint finish it's that close now the big stretch there from Wenger that puts him right into the mix now all of a sudden so the big three level on nine points apiece this is where the medals are going it's just in what order and Wenger with that really clever stretch there picking up the two points well this really is a fascinating duel Wenger in the lead Ken just lurking Pays who's put in a lot of work maybe he's starting to feel the pace he had a nervous look round behind him there the Mexican he's struggling it looks like it's going to be between the Swiss Livio Wenger who's having an absolutely brilliant skate here against the reigning world champion now the pack are trying to close they've left it very very late far too late surely now Ken has attacked he's got himself back in front and there's some of the charging finishers coming through as well but surely they've left it far too late just look at this 
Ken having a look around and just saying, I've got it. I'll take the two points. I'll go top of the leaderboard. I'll take another gold medal. Thank you very much. Livio Venga will be very pleased to pick up a silver medal there. An impressive work from Milka and Alejandro Paez of Mexico, who did an awful lot of work in the middle laps to ensure that the bronze medal will be going home with him.